We decided to make Mark's story public after learning about his experiences in the child welfare system and determining that his death was clearly preventable. Uh, so the ministry did not uh, provide an environment to protect this child. It's our First Nation has lost two young children who, who were in the care of the province within six months of each other. A third child was sexually assaulted by a child in care during the same interval. We lost two boys, uh, obviously two of our little babies, and I mean that's, it was a, a horrid tragedy for our community. This report is about not complying with policies, many of them good policies, uh, on a number of fronts, and that includes the senior managers. We would like to uh, take control of our children on, off, off the reserve as well. We just found breach after breach, breach after breach, and breach. We do know that two-thirds of First Nations children in this province live in poverty. And I believe that's the number one human rights issue in the province. If you want to be partners with Sturgeon Lake, be with us all the way. You know, be with us, right? Just not when, you're, when you conveniently need us. In a tight budget, Children pay the price. Small children pay the price. I believe that uh, that uh, we owe it to Mark to, to uh, say what happened here, what went wrong, and we owe it to the family, and uh, and uh, the apologies required. There are still many times that I do cry. Like even this morning, I uh, when I had a bath, when I'm in a hot tub of water, I think about little Mark.